Hey Red Fam, welcome to your weekend chart. So here we go. The moon is in Taurus. So let's start there. Taurus, you want to do something that takes your senses and helps you ground yourself into the mood of today through your senses. So maybe you want to write a little. Maybe you want to listen to music and just take a long bath. Give in to your nature. Gemini, so Mercury is in a square with Neptune. You're thinking about the old stuff, the past stuff, but also the past is thinking about you. If there's someone in your past and you're their one who got away unrequited love, they cannot stop thinking about you. It's actually kind of funny because you can feel it and you're just like, man, I'm the shit. Pisces, you don't want to argue with people this weekend because they're going to try to pull you into arguments. That square wants you to communicate the wrong things. So instead, maybe focus on something that has nothing to do with you communicating your feelings and focus instead on that which needs to be done, the pedantic, the day to day, and then relax, take your quiet time. Cancer, oh boy, the exploration of early woundings continues. How lovely. If you can get away with it this weekend, stay home. Don't talk to too many people. It's one of those weekends. You want to go into your shell, especially later today, because no, it doesn't make sense. And yes, you're going to hate what I say next, but some of that might have to do with you not being able to see what those around you really need. Ah. And I'm fully aware that you're not supposed to say that to cancers, but you have to realize that even though you can feel what everyone else can feel, sometimes what you want is so much more important to you, remember you're a cardinal sign, that you disregard how much you know other people are feeling or what they're feeling. So maybe just shell time. Leo, the moon is in Taurus and you guys feel pretty caged. We know what cats are like when you back them into a corner. Just make sure before you take a swipe at anyone that there's someone you can stand to lose. If you do feel quite irritated about something and you want to get it off your chest, I would suggest this weekend not be the time to do so. Wait until next week. You'll be calmer in the situation the situation will become more clear. Speaking of situations, <laughs> let's talk about the muddy ones. Virgo, you are irritated, you wanna fight, and it's because you see the writing on the wall, and even though you know that the writing is your handwriting, you still kinda of wanna blame someone else for it. The better solution here is meditate and stay quiet. Libra, do you feel like somebody is, I don't know, pretending to be in your corner, but really isn't? Do you have a secret hater? Have you been thinking about the secret hater? Is it someone that you know you shouldn't tell anything to, but every time they come around, they ask you stuff and you end up telling them? Libra, your social skills can be your downfall, as well as your greatest strength. We know this. Chill. Ooh, Scorpio, are you thinking about the past? A lot of people are thinking about the past today. It's one of those days where you can't help but wonder. You might have even been dreaming about alternate timelines. You just need to get this feeling off your chest. If you can't communicate it, write it out. Write it just to yourself. Write a letter you'll never send, moody blues style. So romantic. Sagittarius, you know those times where you're out somewhere and you're thinking to yourself, I knew I shouldn't have come out. I knew I shouldn't have come out. I'm not in the right mood for this. Things are going to go left. I should probably go home. And then you don't. And then it goes left. Yeah. Don't. It's really a stay at home kind of weekend. Taurus moon. Do the home things. Take no risks. Sleep. You know you need it. Right. Capricorn, let me be straight with you. 
It's all about progress, right? Well, Gemini season isn't about that. Gemini season is about enjoying all the progress that's been made. All the hard work that was done in the winter, you get to kick back and enjoy the fruits of now. I know you love to work and I know you're gonna work through the season, but you might be in a bad mood today because you need to stop and smell the flowers. Taurus moon is romantic. Aquarius, you might be accused of being moody today. Fix sign moody, you know, fix sign moon, fix sign moody. So what does that mean? Mm, you could fight with people. You could make moody art. You could be moody with yourself. Like, oh, I can't stand myself right now. Or you could just get really quiet. Maybe take in a few documentaries. You know you love to learn. It distracts you. You may as well go ahead and do that. Everything else is weird. Aries, so you know how you love to take risks and how you like to think big and how you can see far, far, far into the future from your mountaintop. All of those things will come in handy this weekend. If you buckle down and make a new plan for a new venture, start to plant the seeds of something, make your new mood board, plan your next conquest. It's a great weekend to, it's a great weekend to write the next chapter. What do the next six months look like? We have half a year left. So that's your look at the sky for the weekend. I hope you have a great time. Happy birthday to all the Gemini celebrating today, tomorrow, and Sunday. I'll see you guys again on Monday. The Scorpio reading and the Sag reading will be up tonight, inshallah. So that's great. And uh, I'll see you in the videos. I'll see you in the extendeds. And I'll see you for a new episode of Revolution Ramblings later, later tonight. Mwah.